everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Theo and uh, I am a, a knitter and um, yarn dyer sometimes. I uh, dye my yarn with um, natural resources so I've um, previously done some videos about it mostly with avocado, skins and stones. Sometimes I use turmeric and I also done a video a while back um, reviewing a dye kit, a natural um, dye kit that you can get online and then you buy some wool and you can create different colors um, to your liking. And I have some of my dyed yarn um, in some projects here so um, I'll show you what I've been up to. So I do apologize for the lighting. It's um, it's going from like very sunny to uh, cloudy. It's a bit of a miserable day today. I can see blue skies, but not much sunshine. So the, the light will go in and out. So I'm sorry about that. But first I wanna show you um, what I finished. And these are my finished projects and I've got quite a few here. Uh, and I'm really uh, excited to share them with you. Uh, first, I have a pair of socks, and this is um, a Fair Isle sock um, knitted in my um, uh, hand dyed yarn with natural uh, resources. So um, I have this purple here and a little bit of avocado dye for the contrasting color, but um, it's really nice. Um, this pattern is going to be on my Ravelry soon. So um, keep an eye on my Instagram where I usually announce. Um, also, if um, when, this, when this pattern will go live, I will pop it in the description of this video. So if you're watching this video sometime in the future, then you'll just go to the description down below and you can it will take you straight to my Ravelry where you can get this pattern. So it features a two by two rib and then a beautiful fair aisle. Uh, let me just take one of these. Fair aisle section. Then it's got German show rose heel. Um, and I'm I'm not the biggest fan of German show row heels, the way they look. I think the um, heel with the gusset, uh, it looks a lot like the heel flap and gusset looks a lot nicer but this fits really nice and i've also done a texture um section here on the sole to kind of make your um sock feel uh fit better like hug your um foot so it stays better and then it has a decrease toe with a kit finish with a kitchener stitch and as you can see you can't really tell where you seamed it and I like that um, so yeah I've got these a pair of these and they are knitted in four ply fingering weight yarn uh, I think yeah it's 75% merino 25% nylon so it's just like a um, superwash yarn um, this one is a bit different this yarn I think is blue face Leicester with some nylon it dyed really nicely with avocado kind of like a pinkish peach beige um, and it works really nice with the purple for the rest so yeah I finished one pair of socks um, then the next thing that I finished is a shawl and this is the pimento show and i think this is my fourth one i've been working on this pattern for since last year i think um it's been a work in progress to be honest but now i finally finished it i finished the show the the last show that i probably i'm gonna knit for a while now and it's ready to be put out on ravelry and let me show you a little bit of it. Here we go. It's gorgeous. And if you um, if you watch my previous videos, I have uh, three different ones. One in my pre previous finished 
project video uh, it's more like a yellow greeny turquoise color and that one is a DK weight so it's a bit denser uh, this one is in a fingering weight yarn naturally dyed in this orange color and um, let me see if I can put it on me so you can see the different the different stitches that I've got on so it's a semicircle show started right here and then it goes down increases uh, garter stitch then you've got it's got ripple stitch it has a flower stitch some lace and then it's finished with this beautiful edging so let me just show you the flower stitch it's just gorgeous you could also do the flower stitch without the garter in between so you could do it other either way it's really big uh, it's very lightweight so it's nice on your shoulders for um, like summer over a little dress uh, it's it's really nice and it's warm it's 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon so it's four ply fingering weight um, yarn and I like the way the the colors so it's not it's not variegated yarn it's more um like a solid but because i used some specks of dust of the i think this one is goldenrod um it kind of made make it a bit unique i used two skeins um and you can't really see where i changed i didn't alternate the skeins i just uh I just knitted one part with it and then continue with the others and maybe you can see a little bit that this one this part is a bit lighter than the top but I love it and also let me show you how it looks if you would wear it as a like a shawl in winter just wrap it around so it comes around quite big And you can still see all the different stitches in the show and it's lovely so yeah if you would like to knit this um, I will put a link to my Ravelry in the description down below and you can go ahead and get your pattern there it, it uses two skeins so 200 grams of fingering weight yarn obviously if you want to make it in DK weight it will be a bit chunkier um, a bit stiffer this one in finger weight is quite drapey and um, and lovely yeah see if it's folded you can see the, the stitches better I will try to take pictures and maybe put them on the side of the screen so you can see it better so yeah that is the pimento shawl then I've knitted another shawl and this one doesn't have a name yet so if you have any name suggestions please leave me a comment um it's it's a triangular shawl very this one is giant Woo! it covers all the screen <laughs> there you go uh, it starts here with a uh, just a few stitches and then it keeps going with increases keeps going keeps going keeps going keeps going keeps going and then it's finished with a rather large oops that's the back of it which looks lovely as well this is the front so it finishes up here let me just try to see if you can if I can go back a bit to see the whole thing so yeah this is what it looks like it's very fluffy and the yarn I used is um, Bidalana Ascendant I think it's called in broken stones but I dyed it with um, natural color so it's gone a little bit darker than the original color that it was but um, it's a little bit beigey and it's got a little bit of a gray undertone which makes it go so nice with this juniper moon <sighs> What is it called? Granite? Granite? I, I'm not sure. 
but is this uh, beautiful gray um, on the front it looks like tiles and then on the back um, it still looks lovely I mean it, it doesn't look ugly or anything uh, it is not as beautiful as the front but it's still nice so I wanted to make this giant fluffy warm kind of blanket shawl because um, I work a lot on the computer and um, even in summer I mean it's supposed to be summer now it kind of gets cold so this one as you can see it covers most of my arms so as I sit and type it covers most of my arm my back it goes pretty much uh, <laughs> like under <laughs> under the bum area and it's very 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 soft and very squishy um, I used two skeins of the Vidalana Ascendant in Broken Stones I'm not sure if it's still available I will pop it down in the description if you can still buy the yarn um, also the juniper moon stratus uh, I use two skeins of those um, and I think it makes it uh, the stratus is, is a bit more fluffier than the vidalana and it kind of makes these tiles pop um, you could use juniper moon um, farm stratus in two colors so you can use the darker and then have like a lighter contrasting color i think it will still look lovely um but yeah this uh, pattern is ready to go out as well so um just go to my ravelry and see see pictures of it and also see the pattern you can download the pattern there and i think i'll just keep this on or maybe no because i'll get hot I am wearing my Vara tea in the Mondim yarn um, and it's really warm and my monkey dungarees I've been living in dungarees and gym gear all this time being at home um, I love this top so much um, and the third no the fourth thing that I finished is a Siwani tea and I made this in a bigger size because I struggled to um, I want to see it myself so some people might want to test it with the size that they need for but I want to see it myself and how it fits and the previous one that I knitted was in a green color a beautiful knit crate yarn um, ancient pines I think I'm not sure what uh, which I think it was La Brebi, I think, La Brebis or something, uh, in Asian Pines, and it looks gorgeous. It's kind of like a fuzzy, it's got a nice halo, an alpaca yarn. But this one is the Portuguese yarn, um, and as you can see, I had it folded. This is Mondim, and um, I did post on, on Instagram quite a bit that I was running out of yarn, and I did run out of yarn, uh, hence the short, short sleeves. Uh, but I don't mind it. I like it still But look at that beautiful lace that you can see is gorgeous It looks a lot nicer in this color than the green uh, Maybe I should have brought the green one to see um, So yeah, this one is um, a bigger size, but I still made it quite cropped So it's quite big for me as you can see it's nearly <laughs> double in size but I still wanted to make it crop so um, I can still wear it as oversized top but I still wanted it to be quite cropped and I love it I love it so much and the yarn is so soft so it's the same um, yarn but this one is a different colorway and this one is a more like a variegated one I have another um, one plant for in in the yarn but it's more like a rusty red i think so yeah that is the siwani tea um it's got 
a lower white wide um, neck and it's quite cropped and it's got short sleeves you could uh, make them longer but I made them really really short because I was running out of yarn yeah so those are my finished that's my finished pile here and now I only have one thing on my needles now I do have some uh, unfinished project that I just haven't been working on for probably over a year um, but the ones that I've been working on um, are these shorties socks and I do apologize none of my socks are blocked because I've ordered these sock blockers and I think they're coming from somewhere I don't know but they take forever I'm patient though because I do know that some mail has priority so um, I'm sorry but these are not blocked so these are the shorties um, they feature a folded cuff with a pico edge and also a um, not very stretchy cuff like a short cuff but I've done a texture so it sits better on your foot uh, the same uh, German short rose heel and texture foot but um, it's got two different colors so these are the shorties they fit really really nice and I have to say since I started doing this on my um, my socks they fit better they sit better on my foot then they don't slide off and I I have a few sports socks that I use during exercise and they have this texture on the foot so I figured well we could do that with knitted socks why not and then they fit better so yeah I've got I finished one and I've got a second one on my needles one thing I want to mention is when you do the folded hem I've done the um, I've done the pico edge, I've done the folded hem, and I didn't sew it up, I um, knitted it after I folded it, so picking up stitches from the cast on and folding it and then knit, knitting them together, you have to be careful that you don't, um, that you pick the corresponding stitch to the cast on, otherwise uh, your, your uh, folded hem is not going to look very nice but mine looks really lovely and I like it I'm really really happy I did have to put a marker here to know where I needed to start picking stitches but yeah so these are my shorty socks and I am in love with these two millimeter chow um, needles I've been I, I can't I can't put them down and I want to buy the whole set, but it's too expensive. <laughs> so for now, I have two pairs. I have a, I have a 4.5, which I'm currently knitting a blanket with. Well, I've been knitting a blanket with last year, but anyway, they're with a blanket, and I've got these ones in two millimeters. Oops. Um, and I really want a 3.5, maybe a 2.5, and maybe a four millimeter. But I love them. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to knit with any other needles other than Chow Chow Goo needles. I have my Knit Pros here uh, that I want to cast on something. And when you look at the tips, I mean, I thought these were sharp tips, but when you look at the Chow Goo ones, they're like, whoa, that's sharp. I still love my Knit Pros though. So yeah, that's all my needles and I've been using the same yarn, uh, my dyed yarn. This one is the avocado one and this one is the purple one. And I've, I've, from this one, I've made one pair of pretty long socks, um, my Siwani socks that I showed you in my previous video. And then from this one, I made the Fair Isle socks and I still had enough to make the shorties and I think after the shorties uh, with some leftover fingering way I can just whip up another pair of socks so they don't use a lot of um, a lot of yarn so from two skeins I managed to knit three pairs of socks two um, longer cuff and one shorties and probably I'll be able to do 
maybe another like shorties who knows uh one more thing i wanted to show you is these two skeins that i'm gonna cake <laughs> i'm gonna wind in a cake and i want to combine them because this one has slightly yellow in it and this one is a pure yellow turmeric yellow um dye but as you can see this one has some some like rusty uh brownie red i don't know if you can see them um so i'm going to put these two into a cake and i have a project in mind which is a um another top yeah i know another summer top but with uh, alternating the two of them so we will have um you know a bit of yellow and then it will have this variegated one um it's fingering weight so i have 200 grams here 800 meters plenty for a t for a t-shirt so yeah keep an eye on my instagram to see what i'm gonna uh, end up knitting with this but that's my plan winding this yarn in cakes and then casting on because i'm not used to having only one thing on my needles and at the moment i only have the socks and i'm pretty much pretty much halfway through the second one i'm going to finish it in about an hour so i will need something to concentrate on so yeah uh now i'm going to wrap this thing up and i'm going to film a quick knit crate unboxing for april and um yeah that is all um for this um finished project what's on my needles and what is in my plan for um, knitting so yeah thank you very much for watching i hope that you enjoyed it please don't forget to look in the description down below for all the links that i mentioned for my ravelry where you can download the patterns for all the yarn that i've been using uh, the needles that i've been using also um, check my instagram for pictures of everything that i've had on my needles so far um, and uh, yeah, that is all. Thanks for watching and I hope you stay safe. Have a lovely day. Bye!